knickknacks, collectibles, squishies, keychains, it never ends with FNAF merch. But hey, I'm cool with that. Gives me more junk to rage at and destroy. Nah, I'm just kidding. I only burn bootlegs, apparently. I said that? Dang, guess I had no idea what the future would bring. Licensed, unlicensed. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference anymore. I mean, have you guys seen those Mexican bootlegs? One of everything, please. Okay, maybe not that one. I am definitely reviewing those someday. But today, we're gonna be looking at a pile of doodads I've been collecting for quite some time. I wanted to get all characters from each series, but that's just not gonna happen, unless I buy them online. And buying things online is not my sharpest skill. I just got done accidentally buying some Sanshi bootlegs. Trust me, I thought about getting super mad and tearing these to shreds on my channel, but then again, I really want my 50 bucks back. Not cool, random eBay user. Man, why must people be so scummy? I would have just bought the plushies from Sanchi's website, but... Bonnie is out of stock! How could they do this to us? I know a lot of you guys wanted me to review the Sanchi plushies. It'll happen someday, guys. I will make it happen. Someday. As for today, though, we're gonna be looking at some Five Nights at Freddy's Candy Plus Dispensers, some Five Nights at Freddy's Squish Me's, and Funko's Squeeze Keychains. These are all items that I found over time at Walmarts. Even though all this stuff looks cheap, like it should be, they actually aren't. The candy dispensers are five bucks a piece. These Funko Squishy Keychains are about five as well, and then these Squish Me things are six dollars each. So this mini haul here will definitely add up quickly. Let's start with the products that actually seem to be reasonably priced, the squishy keychains. Now these seem like something I would have died for when I was younger. My favorite toys were always the squishy gooey lizard things that always seemed to break open five minutes after you bought them. Looking back though, I'm not sure how this is considered an ethical toy. But these keychains are the exact opposite. Springtrap definitely deserves this. As for the other animatronics, I can't tell if they like it hate it, or, well, whatever face this is. Now these keychains actually came out a long time ago, back around when the first or second wave of FNAF merch started rolling in. Like I said before, I think these are actually somewhat decently priced, much more than the other things we're looking at today, but still, five bucks is five bucks. I could have bought five pizzas for the price of these guys. Really puts things into perspective, doesn't it? Chica probably agrees, should have got that pizza. Her bib is blank though. There's no let's eat. Guess that means we can have a custom message. Ooh. Okay, it's actually kind of disturbing what their faces look like when you squish them. Freddy legit looks like he got ran over by a car. And Bonnie, we, we don't talk about Bonnie. And sadly, like most squishy things, the material these guys are made of definitely picks up dirt and lint. Drop Foxy on the ground and you may not have a red fox anymore. The design of these guys are all pretty good. Though, Springtrap has some Ned Bear, Withered Freddy eyes thing going on. And Freddy just looks... um... off. They also all have upper teeth. Which is correct on two, but not the other three. For some reason, Funko just really likes giving the FNAF 1 gang upper teeth. And the paint job definitely leaves something to be desired. Oh, and I guess Freddy has a hole in him or something? Because he sure does take a long time to fill up with air even though they aren't supposed to lose their air. So yeah, pretty interesting, kinda cute, gimmicky keychains. They're pretty nice though. Might be worth collecting if they look like something you'd like. Let's move on to our next series of collectibles. The Five Nights at Freddy's Candy Plus Dispensers by Rad's Twists. Now if this sounds familiar, FNAF candy dispensers, you may recognize these, also made by Rad's. They aren't really candy dispensers, they're just square cubes with a little lid. So I'm kind of doubting these are gonna be much better. My boyfriend actually bought me one a year ago, and surprisingly I still have it in the bottom of my candy drawer, so obviously the candy wasn't even worth eating. I suspect there'll be some similarities here. Three in one? Wow, what a deal! Dispenser, candy, and collector booklet. Aw oh man, I'm so excited for that collector booklet! Now sadly I couldn't find them all. In fact, I only found four different characters, though there are eight in total. How did I know who was in each package though? It's weird because they look like blind bags, but actually they let you see which one you get. I don't know if I like or hate that. It definitely saved me from having to buy doubles though, so that's kinda nice. 
Let's tear one of these open and find out what they're all about. First off, we have the puppet. This is actually kind of cute. It's got its own style, but stayed true to the actual character. Although, looking at the inside of this so-called candy dispenser, which is literally just a twist on lid, I don't think I even want to put candy I'll eat in here. You may not be able to see it on camera, but there are specks and particles of something in there. Plastic or dust, maybe? You think this would be cleaned out? Apparently not. Please wash the product thoroughly before use? I guess we'll talk about the candy later, since all of them have the same candies in them anyway. Instead, let's see what the collector booklet is all about. Okay, yeah, it's like we all expected. It's just an advertisement, along with advertising their plastic cube versions. But the other side is pretty cool. One of Lady Fitzy's drawings. And it's specific to the character we collected. Hopefully the rest of them match up as well. Next up, we have Chica. That's odd. She kind of looks... worried? I mean, she looks like she was meant to look scary or angry, but I don't know. Am I the only one who thinks she looks concerned? And also, those teeth. This time, instead of the inside looking unsanitary, the outside is just terribly messy. This thing looks like it's worth a dollar, not five. And don't tell me this candy is gonna make up for that, because we all know it isn't. I mean, at the very least, we got a cool little poster. But once again, that doesn't really make up for how cheap these things are. Next up, Foxy, who is also very obviously cheaply made. There's even someone's fingerprint indented into the paint of his ear. That is so weird. And of course, we got another poster. This one is actually my favorite. It's awesome. Last but not least, Freddy. I actually think this is the cutest one yet. But come on, that is totally not a top hat. Now one thing the package invites us to do with these little heads is to mix and match the tops. Yay, so much fun. I mean, maybe if they were a bit more unique with the heads, this might be fun, but seriously, it's kind of dumb. As for the candy, which apparently has four shocking flavors, they all seemed almost the same to me. There were slight differences, but it was really hard to tell. I actually thought the green one, Spooky Citrus, was banana. And almost all the rest of them just tasted like sugary powder. The only shocking thing about these candies is that they actually have different flavors. And that was the Candy Plus Dispenser Five Nights at Freddy's 3-in-1 Rad's Twists Collect the Malls. Yeah, there isn't really an actual name here. Anyway, these were kind of cheap, kind of lame, kind of boring little things that are definitely not worth collecting. Now for our last set of collectible toys, the Squishmies, made by Just Toys. Let's see what else Just Toys has made. Oh, it's you! It's me, your favorite FNAF merch of all time, Andy Matronic. Welcome to our land of monstrosity. Here we have hideous recreations of your favorite characters, like Spring Bonnie and Plush Trap. Don't forget about Nightmarian, Et. We also have these super creative dog tags, with pictures of the characters straight out of the game so we didn't have to do any work. Oh, and those hit or miss posters? Yeah, that was us too. Source filmmaker Bonnie, and of course, edgy fruity. And don't even think for a second that we're stopping there. We're growing more and more powerful with each new trending toy. Soon, all your favorite franchises will be taken down by us too. You have nowhere to hide. Soon, we'll own all of you. Um, well, that was weird. So, just toys. Probably should be called just junk, am I right? Hopefully these won't be as bad. On the back of the packages, we can see that there are eight to collect. And I was actually able to get all eight. You know what? These pictures of them back here look freaking amazing. Heck yeah, I want these. They look so cool. The puppet looks like she's in a straight jacket. That is such a cool idea. Sadly though, Bonnie and Foxy look like recreations of the Danglers. But they're not bad. I guess we just have to see for ourselves. Oh. Yeah. These look nothing like those pictures. I mean, at least they painted the puppet's face. But they literally didn't do a thing on her body. And they had advertised it as being painted beautifully. Her face doesn't even look anything like this version. This one is so much worse. I imagine this is going to be the case with all of them. Colors and decorations may vary. 
Yeah, more like the colors and decorations will be nothing like this. I guess we should get her out of the package and see how squishy these things really are. Wow. So, I've only actually held one of these things once in the past, and I forget how incredibly soft they are. They smush into almost nothing. Now I see why they were a trend for a while. They're actually kind of fun to mess with. But gosh dang that smell! It smells so strong! It's like a fruity, sweet, chemically smell. My whole apartment smells like it now. I kinda like it, but I kinda hate it too. You know, she would have been super cool if they'd actually colored it the way they did on the back of the packaging. I didn't really expect it, but they can stand also. I mean, look at the puppet, she has huge feet. The actual designs of these things though, eh. I mean, look at how overly long Golden Freddy's bent arm is. They did a pretty good job on his head shape, but man does he look crummy not being colored properly. The seams are also extra terrible on poor Golden Freddy here. Nightmare Cupcake doesn't have the seams problem, but wow are the colors terrible. Half of the cupcake is supposed to be tan. He has a decent design though, although his expression is just... terrified? Toy Bonnie on the other hand is just... all around bad. He's got that signature giant dangler forehead, barely any coloring, and just looks like a bootleg. I don't know why anyone would spend money on this. And weirdly enough, there's a pizza box squish me. This is the same design that was on the awesome pizza box kit. Ah, fond memories. It's actually kind of a cool idea, but then again, they didn't design it very well. These boxes look way too thin to be pizza boxes. Toy Chica has the best coloring so far, it seems like. She's only missing a few things, whereas the others were missing a lot. But that still doesn't mean she looks good, because she doesn't. She looks pretty stupid in my opinion. Another giant forehead. Thanks, Just Toys. Oh boy, is this supposed to be Foxy? Wait, why is he missing an ear? So apparently this is Withered Foxy? I guess it makes sense with this series being pretty focused on FNAF 2 characters. You know, except for the Nightmare Cupcake, for some reason. This is once again, terrible. Terrible coloring, terrible seams, and a terrible forehead. Freddy, though, doesn't seem as bad. Weirdly, there's like a lot of different designs going on here. First we have the Dangler versions. Foxy, Toy Bonnie, and Toy Chica. They all have the huge foreheads and almost the same body. Then we have the somewhat original designs with Nightmare Cupcake, the Puppet, Golden Freddy, and the Pizza Boxes. And lastly, we have the single plush design, Freddy. It's so weird how there's this inconsistency. But I guess it probably could be a lot worse. Imagine if they were all danglers. Freddy's actually pretty cute. Why didn't they just make the others plushy designs? If he was properly colored like he is here, he would have looked amazing! It's really sad they didn't bother to put in the effort or cost to do that. You'd think I'd be more angry and stressed by how crappy these are, but actually they seem to be working like stress balls. But even better because I get to crush their faces in. Seriously though, today has been a really odd mixed bag. Pretty neat little keychains, crappy little candy holders, and another toy trend with Freddy's face on them. Hopefully next time we can review some quality merch, like the new action figures! Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you all have an awesome Friday. Bye!